Good everyone, my name is Graphics. If you look at the top right corner of the screen, you see a question there. We are told to draw the development of the first room of the cylinder. So the first thing we have to do, we have to reproduce. Now if you look closely, you will see this symbol at the base, like that look like a circle that is slashed into two that is the symbol for what for diameter it is what circular in shape so what we we'll do first of all draw our circle so let's start i'm going to draw it this way draw my vertical line right and also i'm going to draw the horizontal line this way you can see that now we are told if you look closely it is 38 that is there so we we'll look at the radius of 38 which will give us 19 right so i'm going to take my compass and i'll measure 19 on my compass this way on my ruler and this is from 0 this is 20 i go back a little bit this is what 19 right so i'm going to place it at the center here this way where i'm going to draw the circle this way so it will be acting as the plan of the cylinder right now the next thing is i am going to divide the cylinder into 12 this circle into 12 so with the same radius that i used to draw the circle I'll place it here. I'm going to use another way of dividing a circle. I'll place it here. I'll cut the top this way. I'll come to the right part also. I'm going to cut the top also this way. I'll come to the top here. I'll cut left and I'll also cut what? Right. Right. So, what I'm going to do, where those point R, I'm going to use the center as my reference point and I'll pass through the center. So I'm having, this is one of the line, this is another one again, this is another one again, and here too, and here too. So this is what we have here right so i'm going to write it this way by saying zero one two three four five six five four three two one zero right now let's move forward then i will now project this upward uh, from here, placing it on my um, T square, I'll draw a vertical line up, come to the other point also. I'm also going to draw a vertical line what up, right? That's what I'm going to do. You can see that. So, let me zoom it up so you get to see what I am doing now. At this point here, at any distance away from this plan, I'm calling this my plan here. I'm going to take my rule and I'll draw an horizontal line this way. I'm going to take in it, right? And that is the base of the shape or the figure at the top right corner of the screen. Now the height is given to be 62, right? So from here, I'm going to measure 62. So placing my rule this way, from here to this point, is what? This is 60, 61, and 62 at this point here. Then I'm going to take my rule, just complete it this way. You can see that. Now that is the highest point here, which is what? 62 here, right? Now the next thing I'm going to do 
is normally it is a cylinder right this is what we are told this is the cylinder here that we have here but this cylinder we have is cut at an angle of what 45 degree you can see the angle there for five degree so i'm going to take my 45 degree c square right and i'll place it on my t square this way right so let me zoom this down a little bit so it's what i want to do and i'll move it on my t square until i get to that point 62 which is here then i'll now draw my line i'll take in it because it's exactly what i'm actually looking for right so i've gotten out the shape that i want so i will take in everything here then here also you can see that this is what we have here so i have the angle between here and here is 45 right so i've successfully drawn out the shape that we are told to draw now we are now told to what develop it so in developing it you have to project all this point i can now take this up now so you guys will see what i'm trying to do here so i'll now start taking all this up this way right so from here this is point one i'll take point one the one is touching here the next one is two i'm going to move it up this is two the three this is where the three meets then we'll go to the four this is the four here the five this is the five here right this is where i'm projecting all those lines up so it means that it will be this zero this will be point zero this will be point one point two point three four and five then what six if you look at those points so what i'll do is i'm going to draw a vertical line this way right from that line that i draw i'm going to draw an horizontal line this way from this point you can see so this will be my point zero right now we'll now divide this line into 12 and how we're going to do that what we are going to do you can use um, your compass you take distance of any of these two points either one and zero or one and two right you can see and you start marking from this point so this is zero to be one two three four five six five four three two one zero right so we'll name that we have one two three four five six five four three two one zero and at the top here i'll project this straight away you can see that and i'll also project this zero straight away here now the next thing i'll do i'll project all these points to this direction so from point zero i'll project it from point one i'll do the same thing from point two I'll do the same thing. Then three. I'll do the same thing. Then four. I'll do the same thing. Then five. I'll do the same thing. You can see that. Then the next thing I'll do is to project all these points vertically. So I'll take my C square or my T square. I'll move it. I'll go to point one. I'll take it up. I go to point two. I'll also take it up. I go to point three. I'll take it up. I go to point four. Take it up. Point five. The same thing. Point six. There we go. Point seven. Point eight. 
point nine point ten eleven that is all right now we want to get the development when i mean development this is what we are expecting to get now if i cut this shape this is what i will have in here now look at the shape if i place it here you can see it's just fitting in right now when i open the shape down this is what i am expected to get just no one thing for sure it is not a quadrilateral it is not a, a quadrilateral it is just a circular so here will be curved right because it's a cylinder but this is the kind of shape this is what we'll be expecting to get so let's see if that is what we are going to get now from here if i move this is point zero zero meeting zero at this point here first of all since from here to here is ticking i am going to tick in this point here so from here to here will be ticking and also here also will be ticking then the entire base here will be also ticking can see that so what i just did here is i have taken here here and the entire base now we'll move this is zero meets zero here one meets one here two meets two here because it's the line of two three meets three here this is it where vertical and horizontal meet four meets four here five meets five here then we'll get back to six right this is six then coming back again the same thing repeats itself right it repeats itself back to this point so i'm going to take my french cuff and i'm going to join those points together using my french cuff this is what we call the french cuff so in placing it here this way you try and take at least three points so if i start from here if you look at those three points they are all meeting in this way you can see that so I can just go in this manner. You can see that? Then the next one, I'll not turn it. Now I use it this way. I'll not turn it this way. Internally. So I'll be having this. Right? Right? Then the next thing is... The same thing, what I used to get here, I used this to get here, so I'll turn the other way around this way, mm? then I'll use it to get here. Right, then I'll turn it this way, to get here this way. now this is what we have which is exactly like the shape that we have here right the reason why it is curved is because what is a circular object is that okay now one thing you need to know here is that whatever line you are projecting must be 90 what 90 degree if you watch my videos on development discover that all this line i'm projecting must always be 90 to the main figure this is what we call development of um of this first room so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching